Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WP All Export to set up an export that will automatically run every day and export new orders from your WooCommerce site. So we're going to choose WooCommerce orders from the drop-down and go ahead and continue. Here's where you can choose the data to be included in your export file. All these different sections have all of the available information. I'm going to grab all of the order data, all of the customer data, and all of the item data. But you can go down through here and you can either grab all the data like I was doing, or you can grab individual pieces and drag it over as well. Down here, you can change the setup of your file a little bit with these settings. Uh, for this example, we're just going to leave everything default and continue. Now here you'll want to select to only export orders once. So if rerun, this export will only include records that have not been previously exported. So that makes sure that the next time that you run it and every time thereafter, it will only export new orders. Let's go ahead and give it a friendly name. Oops, let's do new orders export. Now you don't have to give it a friendly name, but I always like to because it makes it easier to manage in the back end. So we'll go ahead and confirm and run export. Let's take a look at that file. Okay. There's all the data. Okay, looks good. Now, how do we make it automatic? So if you go back to Manage Exports here, on the right side of your export, you click Cron Scheduling. On this page, you'll find the trigger script and the processing script. So to run this export once daily, you'll want to set up the trigger script URL as a cron job to run once per 24 hours, and you'll set the execution script URL to run once per two minutes. Usually your host can help you set up a cron job, but if not, you can use a service like EasyCron. So let's take a look at EasyCron. So here we'll go ahead and create a new cron job, and we'll put in the trigger script URL. So let's copy that over. Oops. And we'll want this to run every day. We'll go ahead and name this New Orders Trigger and create cron job. Now we want to create another cron job for the processing URL. So let's go grab that and copy it over and we want this to run every two minutes and we'll name this one as well go ahead and create the cron job and you're all set so now that export that you set up will run once daily automatically and export new orders only now if you wanted to automatically email yourself the data from this export or upload it to Dropbox or something else you could use our Zapier integration to do that. We'll put some links to our videos covering Zapier integration in the description below. Thank you for watching.